A claw hammer has a head with a flat end on one side and a V-shaped claw on the other side. The flat end of the head is used to strike nails. The claw side of the head removes nails. Claw hammers are the most common hammer you will see in the field. A claw hammer should be used when you expect to be working with nails. Claw hammers excel at hammering nails into wood. Claw hammers are also excellent at removing nails from material. Since claw hammers are commonly used on nails, we will teach you how to hammer a nail into wood. The next slides will go step by step through the process of hammering a nail. Check the area to make sure that you will not hit anyone. Inspect the hammer to confirm that it is in good condition. Look for cracks, chicks, or breaks on the handle and hammer head. Next, we need to inspect the material we are going to drive the nail into. It is important for the object to be stable. Striking an unstable object can result in the nail slipping, hitting your hand with the hammer, or other injuries. To start a nail, place the pointed end of the nail on the wood. Hold the nail with your thumb and forefinger directly below the head. Holding a nail near the point can cause injury. Once the nail is in the correct position, grab your hammer. Hold the hammer with your dominant hand. Keep your hand close to the head when starting a nail. This gives you more control. Simply tap the head of the hammer onto the head of the nail. You should see the point of the nail going into the wood. This can take several taps. When the nail is firmly attached to the wood, you can stop holding the nail with your fingers. Once the point of the nail is inserted into the material, the nail has been started. You should not need to hold the nail at this point. Just your grip so you are holding the hammer closer to the bottom of the handle. Continue hammering the nail until the head is flat with the wood. This will require several strong strikes. When the head of the nail is flush with the wood, you can stop hammering. When you are striking the hammer, make sure to strike the head of the nail at a 90 degree angle. When the hammer contacts the nail, it should drive the nail straight into the wood. Hitting the nail at an angle can cause the nail to bend or not enter the wood correctly. Claw hammers can also remove nails. To remove nails, you will use the claw end of the hammer. Recall that the claw is opposite of the flat head. The claw looks like a metal V. Start by sliding the V-shaped claw under the nail head. The claw should be pointed away from you. As you slide the claw towards the nail head, the nail head will go towards the bottom of the V. Once the nail is in the V, you should not be able to lift your hammer up. Recall, a longer handle creates more leverage. Place your hand on the end of the handle. Slowly pull the hammer towards yourself until the claw and nail start lifting upwards. Continue pulling the hammer towards you until the nail comes loose. When you are pulling the handle towards yourself, the hammer is putting pressure into the wood. This pressure can damage the wood if you are not careful. To avoid damaging the wood under the nail head, we use a shim. A shim is a thin piece of wood shaped like a right triangle. Placing a shim under the hammer head can protect the wood while you remove the nail. To insert a shim, Place the claw underneath the head of the nail. Slide a shim underneath the head of the hammer. Pull the handle of the hammer until the nail is removed. The shim also gives you more leverage. Shims make it easier to pull out nails.